girl if i tell you my scalp felt like someone had taken a knife scraped it off and put a flat iron on top of that i will be underestimating the pain I had thought we already got to the bad part. Hey guys, it's Trey and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another natural hair horror story. If you haven't heard by now, but you should have heard by now, this is natural hair horror story week. So you will be getting a new horror story every single day this week. And if you watch the surprise video, then you know that this technically starts the giveaway so if you don't know what i'm talking about you're like what giveaway how do i enter you need to go watch the giveaway video so i'll link it down below because um this giveaway is pretty lit so you want to make sure that you know how to enter and you know the rules and everything like that now this is natural hair horror story week so you will get seven horror stories back to back i know i kind of left you guys hanging i haven't did a natural hair horror story in I, I don't know when actually so it's definitely been a minute but I've just been trying to hold them off for this week in particular now before we go any further if you want the beats on my hair I did do a tutorial on this look so make sure that you check that out and I want to give some shout outs if you want a shout out like this you have to be a part of notification squad and snapchat fam so after you go handle your business hopefully next time you will get a shout out so i'm not going to ramble on in this intro so let's just jump into these horror stories because these are some crazy horror stories that you guys are going to be getting this week so let's just jump into it oh my gosh it always takes so much energy to scoop to the side you know what let me go to the side all right, here we go. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Okay, so the email says, Hey, Miss Treya, let me start by saying I love your natural hair horror stories. Everybody does. Um, they always leave me thinking about how far we are willing to go just to have our hair looking good and how funny all these situations are because when you are watching, you think the person could have easily just stood up and left until it happens to you. You know what? I like that little teaser, that little intro. I like that. I like that. So, my hair journey has always been up and down. I grow out my hair, chop it off, and the cycle repeats. This year, I decided I wanted to grow my hair long and never chop it off ever again. Hopefully. That's, that's what I'm telling myself, too. Once I felt like it was long enough to get braided safely, I went to get box braids. Everything, everything went fine. After a while, I took them off was impressed with the growth and decided I wanted to try crochet braids. Crochet braids. <laughs> so I go to the person that did my hair before because I love how they handled it, but they were closed for about a week and I really needed to do my hair because I was starting classes. Okay, okay. So the place you usually go was closed. Red flag. <laughs> If you have watched my Nature Air Horror Stories, then you guys know that something usually goes wrong when you can't go to your original stylist. But let's see. So I Google up a place, check Yelp ratings, and the place looks great. I call the owner and make an appointment for 1 p.m. I'm very time conscious, so I step in at the salon at 12.59 p.m. exactly. And I am met with a crowded shop full of people who look like they are going to take two whole days to get their hair done. I always hated going to the shop for that reason. Well, that, that's one of the reasons, okay? The other reason is because I don't want to leave without my edges. Because if I go in with my edges, I want to leave with those same edges. But the other reason is that it's always crowded and you have to wait for other people to get their hair done. And ugh, it's a mess. Anyway, I walk to the owner. She tells me she will work on my hair as soon as she finishes working on the client she was working on. The place was pretty far from where I stay and I had used Lyft to get there so I felt like it would make no sense to quit now. So I decided to be a nice girl and wait. At around 3 p.m., finally, wait a minute, you you got there at 1 p.m., excuse me, you got there at 12.59 p.m. And around 3 p.m. it was your turn? Oh my gosh. So at this point, my hair was about reaching my eyebrows. And before I went there, I had spent time detangling, conditioning, and giving it love. I could easily pass a wide 
slash middle tooth comb through my hair. So, as with all other horror stories, my eyes catch a glimpse of one mean rat tail comb and it dawns on me that she wanted to comb my hair with those fine teeth of the comb. I know my hair is detangled, so I think it won't even matter. By the time she is done, I am legit sweating. So she starts braiding cornrows and after braiding one on the left and another one on the right side of my head, she turns my chair and she is like, sweetie, you need to pay before we start. Wait, after she did two braids, she said you need to pay? I'm, I'm confused. Why didn't she say that initially? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Their site said they accepted PayPal, Visa, and all that stuff, but she was like, no, cash only here. We don't do anything else. I look at myself in the mirror. I look like one crazy woman about to fight someone on the street, and she wants me to go out there, walk about eight blocks, and withdraw money from an ATM. <coughs> Excuse me. She even forced me to go with one of the braiders because I would have decided to run away with two cornrows on my head. What? What? Anyway, because she was braiding my cornrows well, I liked her method, I won't lie, I decided to cool down and just do this. So fast forward to when we get back to the salon, she finishes the cornrows and I don't feel any pain. I don't like painful braiding at all. And they look nice and secure. I was happy. She takes the crochet braids and that is when all hell breaks loose. After getting about six or eight braids, my head already feels heavy. I asked her to put them close enough not to see patches, but not close that my head can't even breathe. She starts puffing and says, I know, I have done this for 20 years, so don't worry. She was spitting fire as if she was pissed, and honestly, I was surprised. Anyway, she continues, and so far, so good. We get to the front part of my head. She starts pulling one braid through one of my cornrows, and I legit scream. Everybody in the shop turns to look at me. My scalp feels like how I imagined it would feel if someone took a hot flat iron, placed it there, and left the scalp to cook a little. You know? Something like that. Oh my god. I told her to hold on, stood up, went to the mirror to see what was happening. She says she made the corn... She said she made that corn roll a little too thin and tight for my thick crochet braids. And I'm looking at her thinking, lady, look at the other corn rolls. They are half the size of this one at the front. Am I supposed to feel better now that you just told me that? I'm giving her the eye like my scalp felt like it was burning. And she tells me she will try a technique where she attaches the crochet on the corn roll and not under the corn roll. I'm hesitant, but she says she will do just one, so I will see how I like it. But she's been a stylist for 20 years, though. Let's see if this method works, okay? I liked it. Felt no pain or irritation. Okay, so about five braids left, and then hell breaks loose again. If I tell you my scalp felt like someone had taken a knife, scraped it off, and put a flat iron on top of that, I will be underestimating the pain. Girl, the braid felt like it was being attached to my brain. It happened so fast and before the strength in my body came back so I could say something, she was already putting another braid through. I just felt something wet on my face. When I put my fingers to my face, I was surprised to see tears. At this time, my body felt like one heavy, lifeless container. I couldn't think, talk, and was sweating. Thank God before she reached out for the next braid, I got my strength back and I just started saying, no, no, no. I couldn't even think of anything else to say. I stood up from that chair, went to the mirror, stared at myself from five minutes before I told her that I had had enough and was going to leave. There was a small patch at the front, but the corn rolls made it look like a style, so I was okay with walking out like that. My head felt abused and I could not handle it. Oh my god. She told me that it was just two more and she will attach them in a way that won't hurt. How many daggone ways did the stylist know how to do this? She said that she had forgotten about not attaching them under and that's why it hurt. Didn't y'all just have a whole thing? Uh, and she said she was going to not do them under and then she forgot. What? What? I 
just stare at her with my eyes red as blood. I was not even embarrassed about crying and I wanted her to see the pain I was going through. Again, I said there was no way I was sitting back down and was okay going as I was. Right. Somehow she was able to play my mind and my emotional state and she had me sitting there as she finished everything up. Girl! I thought... I thought you were going to walk out. Okay, I had, I had hope for this horror story. I had hope. Once I was done, I walked out and I knew there was no way I was ever going back to that place. So okay fast forward to two days later why is my scalp in so much pain when I got home from the salon all pain was gone so why is it hurting me like crazy two days later I talked to my brother and he tells me to take those things down right that second I remember all those horror stories and how people waited for months only to find bald spots on their heads or something and I decided I was not ready for that good see these horror stories help people okay so I sat down chopped off those beautiful crochet twists that cost me a fortune and started removing the parts attached to my cornrows if I tell you each single braid I removed hurt like hell I would be lying because the pain I was feeling cannot be described no even the ones at the back of my head that didn't hurt at all during installation it was a mix of indescribable pain and relief as I removed them. When I got to the front, I decided to bring a mirror so I could look at everything as I took them down. To my horror, as I removed each installation, that spot where she had attached the crochet braid looked like one big dent. Did she say dent? My scalp had dents all over like it had been remolded. And when I saw that, honestly, all strength left my body. I had thought we already got to the bad part. Oh my gosh. I sat there for a few minutes trying to internalize what was happening. Upon closer inspection, it also looked like strands of hair were missing there. I did not even have the energy to get mad. I removed the remaining crochet installations and as soon as every last one of them was out, my scalp felt so good i was so disgusted by the dents though and decided to oil and massage my scalp to try and relax my roots i still had the cornrows i wore a wig for about a week but during that whole time my scalp was crazy itchy i could not understand it i had just gotten some relief after taking the crochet braids out and now another problem was coming up i decided to remove those cornrows because they had been done with hair extensions because my hair was natural and too thick and not straightened eye roll in case they were the reason behind my itchiness as i removed each corn roll i kept pulling out scab after scab big chunks of scabs were on my head less than a week after my visit to that place Ugh. by this time the dents were gone and my scalp was back to its normal shape everywhere except the back of my head close to the nape i discovered that that area was actually swollen and very tender I was so frustrated and on that day while I was slowly massaging my scalp, I swore to never, ever have anyone else do my hair. My heart broke to think that one single person could do so much damage in less than three hours while they were working on my hair. I was not able to wash my hair for about a week since my scalp was tender, but once I got to wash it, I started my journey where I loved and cared for my hair alone. My hair is pretty short, but I am able to cornrow and twist it so this is what I've been doing for the first time in my life I feel like my hair is so soft and I love caring for it I walk around with cornrows to the back of my head and people look at me like I'm crazy I don't know why well because they look crazy <laughs> lol I'm still learning how to cornrow but I love it my hair looks healthy it is growing beautifully and I'm learning how to do different styles on my own because I know that I'm the only one who knows how to listen to my hair and give it what it's asking for I'm happy that I spoke up to the stylist, but all that is useless because I still went back and sat down. Partly because I felt like I had spent so much money already for the hairstyle. I advise everyone to learn how to do their hair themselves and never allow themselves to sit down through pain because there is no gain. Thanks for all the hair stories and keep your curls popping. Love, Angela. Whew. That was a mouthful, Angela. That was that was a mouthful. Okay. Let 
Let me get back over. Okay, Angela. I I'm going to call you Angie for short. Is that okay? I'm going to call you Angie. Angie. We were doing so good, okay? We were doing so good. You spoke up for yourself, okay? And we always encourage um, the people that are getting their hair done to speak up if it's hurting or if they feel like their hair isn't being handled the way they want it to. We always encourage people to speak up in these natural hair horror stories. And you did, which was good, which was good. But somehow... She persuaded you to sit back down in that seat and you figured you already paid so you might as well just get it done. And and, that, and that's where we took a turn. That's where we took a turn for the worst because you could have been gone. Part of this could have not even happened, but you went back and got it finished. What's getting me is the fact that you guys had the whole thing about not crocheting the hair under the braid, but through it and somehow she forgot in that second <laughs> and then still did it the other way like lady what this is what happens when you venture off and go to other stylists but you did what i would do which is um read yelp reviews and stuff and you know just to try to get a feel for the salon but it still didn't help so i don't i don't know i'm kind of siding with you with the um just doing your hair yourself because you know how much you can take you know how much your hair can take so it seems better to just do your own hair but i know everybody's not you know into doing their own hair and everything like that but it's kind of like if you trust the professional it's still going to go wrong anyway so you might as well just try and learn to do your own hair that's why i do these easy tutorials okay that's why i try to make them easy for you and just just to throw this in there this is a um braidless crochet style so no braids are needed so my hair isn't tight i don't have any braids that are tight i am not the best braider so i can't do it anyway but i like this technique because all you have to do is literally put your hair into four ponytails and crochet it through your hair and it doesn't hurt at all so definitely check that out i'll link it down below so that you can see how to do it but this method is so freaking easy and i love the results but anyway angie thank you so much for sharing your natural hair horror story with me i'm so glad that these horror stories helped you remember what other people did uh as far as keeping their hair in for months and then taking them out and realizing that their hair is damaged or missing um, so I'm glad that you took them out sooner because I don't know what could have happened if you would have left them in longer than those two days. Um, but thank you Angie for sharing your natural hair horror story with me. If you have a natural hair horror story that you would like me to feature here on my channel, you can definitely email it to me at sensitrea at gmail.com and hopefully I will feature it soon. So yeah guys, if you love this series and you're excited for Natural Hair Horror Story Week, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another horror story. Bye guys! Ay, mama told me, ay, not to sell work Mama, 17, 5, same color t-shirt White, mama told me, ay, not to sell work